Hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and try and finish this up. Sorry about that, my Chromebook died. So then she saw something. At first she thought her eyes were tricking her. She closed them tightly and then opened them again. It was still there, a tiny point of light moving. As she watched, it moved along slowly in a straight line. Then it turned and moved in a straight line again. Was it on River Road? She couldn't tell, but suddenly she knew what it was. It was Dune with a candle. Dune was going towards the pipeworks in the dark. And she wanted to go too. She could feel it all through her. The urge to run and meet him and find a way out of Ember to a new place. She listened to the shouts and wails of the terrified people in the square below. She thought of Miss Murdo down there in the dark being bumped and pushed with her arms wrapped tightly around Poppy, trying to protect her. And all at once, everything seemed clear. Lena knew what she would do if only the lights would come back on. If only this was not the very last blackout in the history of Ember. Watching the tiny light follow its steady course, she made a wish with the whole force of her heart and mind. Then the floodlights flickered. There was a great cry of hope from the people in the crowd. And the lights came back on and stayed on. Lena ran to the back edge of the roof, dropped easily down onto the roof of the prison room, and seeing no guards in the crowd that was now streaming into the streets, she jumped from there to the ground and joined the throng of people. She made her way down Greystone Street, going at the same pace as everyone else so she wouldn't stand out. When she came to the trash can enclosure behind the gathering hall, she squatted down and hid. Her heart was beating fast, but she felt strong and purposeful now. She had her plan. As soon as she spotted Mrs. Murdo and Poppy on their way home, she would put it into action. Well, there you go. That was chapter 16. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Can't wait to see you back at school.